Hi guys, this is Arif from TechShare. Today I'm gonna show you how can we set up a website inside Chrome platform. So the real time real time example would be, for example, here you will see there is a basic company website already set up. So if we want to set up a similar kind of, for example, website for different departments uh, as an example, then how you are going to approach that? So I'm gonna show you quickly that. So that is not basically a very complex task inside Chrome. So what you need to do first, yeah, if you uh, if we want to maintain the Helix standard, because if you follow my previous two videos, then you would have known that I already have set up the Helix solution in the site platform 9.3. So I'm going to follow the same standard or approach and I'm going to create a new website, for example, for marketing website. So what I'm going to do is for that is right click this one and insert from template and I am going to select this multi-site site template and that is basically inside the foundation folder so let me name it marketing marketing yeah marketing okay awesome so this is a marketing root folder and then obviously we need the home page okay and the home page i'll say home okay so now if i browse that one so if you click this preview button then you would see a empty page basically with the container that we have under the home so it doesn't have anything so now if you want to explore or you can say the browse then you need to go this way but we need to have some sort of website so for example here this home item we can actually we can actually browse through this endpoint or the this address right the similar way how can we actually do for that marketing website so for that the very easy thing is you need to go your website dub dub root this is my website root folder app config and you, you need to go to include and examples and then grab the site definition dot config file here so it, this is this is sitting inside the example folder so you need to copy that on and need to go to this project folder because project folder is the folder where we have all the settings for the website so you need to paste it here and then once it is paste then what you need to do you need to follow the same standard helix standard so what we are going to do is we'll say this folder as project dot marketing dot config okay remove this one and then what I'm gonna do is I'll open that one here let me remove these comments and then here I'll say marketing site okay and then I'll say start item home and then this one would be site core content slash marketing and I will also say my um, my host name would be host name would be for example marketing site okay so this host name so we need this host name and then this is the name you can put anything and then your root path basically site core content marketing means um, site core content and then the, here you go this is the marketing so this is my root folder and the start item obviously the home item of this marketing uh, root folder and then you can also tweak the other values like if you want to cache html true html cache size enable prevent then you will have a uh, heaps of other different different properties so you need to search for that so you'll find everything in the documentation site code documentation i will try to find that one and i'll try to put that one in the description as well i will also put the other helix related videos that i have made before so i will also put that in the description so that you will guys quickly you will guys quickly you know browse or you know explore those and then yeah everything should be that as it is i mean everything is configured already so now what you need to make sure is this host name is present so copy that host name so i'm gonna save this one okay so copy everything because it will it has taken the other values okay save it so done project marketing.config everything is saved so now i'm going to take this one host name and then i'm going to create a host file in my driver etc directory but for that the easiest way is if you have already installed sim the open the site code instance manager and then in the site code instance manager 
you need to find out this host editor and then just add a host editor here like this marketing site okay so the my my host name is already there now what i need to do is i need to bind it so for that so this is my website i'll go binding and then here i'll add a i'll add a website i'll say marketing site okay and i am configuring in http so i am not configuring in https for now so that's all so what i need to do now is i need to browse that one but before that i need to publish this marketing so for that what i need to do is i need to refresh this page as i copy paste the configuration so the is would be reset automatically so it will take a bit time to uh, refresh this page right so yeah once it is refreshed then i will publish this marketing and home and then i'll try to open my incognito so for example this is now okay so what i'll do publish publish item and i'm gonna do a smart publish with all the sub items everything should be checked because i will also try to publish the home item and un underneath item if you have any okay anyway so now what i'm gonna do is i'll open incognito and i will say http and marketing site so you'll see the marketing side is pointed to the correct one because if you see this home item and then let me uh, say home marketing uh, this is the navigation title though so this navigation title should appear here so now if i publish this one published hopefully yeah and refresh this one so you'll see so this is this is basically pointing to this this directory as we configured in the configuration file so this is the pretty easiest way to create your new website inside for instance or you can say sidecore platform so hope this would be helpful for you if you want to set up from the scratch so the basically what you need to take is that site definition file you will find inside the include and examples directory you will find heaps of other configurations so you need to you know find out the exact configuration that you need for different purposes you will see a lot of documentation inside core website to describe all the different different configuration and how we can actually use that one so that's one for today and uh, yeah i'll publish the next video uh, in the uh, because i was actually trying to do the um the helix um series so i have completed two you already have known that so what i'm gonna do is next i'll try to create the third video of that after this video and i'll try to publish that one very quickly as well as possible and uh, like finally i would say uh, please try to subscribe my channel if you find it helpful and uh, yeah i mean i am not limited to i'm not going to create video only for sidecore platform but uh, all the other technological platform that i try to use in my day-to-day -day life so uh, hopefully you will get it uh, helpful in some ways and uh, yeah subscribe my channel support me and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the next video very soon bye bye